Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life here today with the design team post for Fairy Stamper video team. Today I'm going to be making these two cards. And today's stamps, I'm going to be using the Wreath Builder set, the Deer, and then Magic in the Air, although that wasn't the sentiment that was shown there, that is what I end up using. I'm also using the Wreath Builder stencil from Gina K. Now, I made this the first time, and although I loved how it came out, it took a really long time to set each stamp up. So then I thought I would try to set them all up at one time. So all four stamps, you're stamping at once, so then you're just having to make one complete turnaround, the wreath builder stencil. And that worked much quicker, so I just lined up the stamps with what I had, but you can also just do that. And I apologize for not getting the very beginning. I had to go to the bathroom and I paused it and then I forgot to hit record again. But you see how much quicker this goes that I can get through the entire thing. Like I said, you're just flipping it around and stamping. Now I'm stamping different colors on three or three different colors on the four stamps to kind of create the wreath. And I'm just going to kind of keep going through there until I finish it. And like I said, I think this was super quick. It gives you a lot of different options with the different leaves and stuff that you're um, that's in the set. And I just thought it was, like I said, super simple, super cool. And you can also move the stamps around. So I think that's definitely one way to make this quicker by doing it with using multiple stamps at one time. Then I stamped the holly uh, kind of bushel with the leaves and I stamped them two different colors and I just used some inks that I have in my stash and I put green on the edges and some of the color did blend in with the other one which I thought was perfectly okay because the stamp still came out really awesome and so I made since I'm making two cards I made four of these because I'm going to put two on each card I think by using the stamps, um, the wreath builder stencil, and then making multiples of the same things, you can make multiple cards fairly quickly. So this would be something good to use for your actual holiday cards because you can kind of create an assembly line, which even though I only did two cards, I kind of did the same thing. So I'm stamping the berries just by themselves right now and then I am going to stamp the deer and I have a brown uh, cappuccino I think it's called and it was really dark for the deer and I didn't hate it but I didn't also love it so then what I decided to do for the second one was use orange as an underlying color and then stamp the brown over it just to highlight certain areas and I thought that came out perfect. I loved how that one came out. So then what I did was I cut out all of my layering pieces. So this is going to be a five and a half inch square card. So I used some dark brown cardstock to create the card bases. I cut out two four and a half inch squares from some craft cardstock. The pieces or the panels that I made the wreaths on were four inches. So they were four inch squares. And then the sentiment rectangles that I'm making right there were one and a half inches by two inches. And I just cut off the edges to kind of, to give it a different shape than just a plain rectangle. I am going to stamp the sentiment with some embossing ink and then I am going to use a clear embossing powder but that has glitter in it and this is super fine and it really comes out cool on there because it definitely you can see the contrast in the coloring but then it has that sparkle on there and so I think that that worked out really well that says there's magic in the air for the Christmas season or the holiday season and then I am going to use the embossing tool you want to make sure that your embossing tool is or your heat tool, I'm sorry, not your embossing tool, but your heat tool is really hot so that you can make that embossing powder melt really quickly without warping the paper too much. 
And then after that, I am just going to kind of put all these pieces together to create my cards. And like I said, I think it's a cool idea. You can have kind of that assembly line going and just put it all together. I'm going to place the front panel on that layering piece, and then I'm going to pop that onto the card base itself. Now, the wreath is flush, obviously, with the front panel, so I decided to pop up the holly bushes or the ones with the leaves and pop up the deer because I wanted to give it a little bit of dimension just with some foam squares, and we're just going to pop that right onto the card. And like I said, I created these the same, so it's pretty simple of just popping them in there. And I really just, I think the deer is so cute, but I just love it with the orange underlay and the darker brown on the top. I was deciding where I wanted to put my sentiment. I decided up on the top because I'm going to use some red ribbon and place a bow on the bottom of the wreath. Now I will link all of the materials that I used from Fairy Stamper in the comments of the video. And or I'm sorry in the description of the video and I will also list all of the other items that I used to create this I'm just gonna pop those holly berries kind of underneath the other one the next thing I'm going to do is create a double bow now you're going to take your ribbon and place it behind the two your first two fingers and then put the tail underneath your thumb you're gonna wrap it around twice then you're going to take the tail and push it behind at the bottom of your fingers all over the other ribbon. And then you're going to pull that up and the, the piece that you had wrapped around and pushed through, you're going to actually pull the piece through that and then tighten it up. And you want to make sure that the tail is coming out underneath that piece towards the top of your fingers and then just move it on down <clears throat> your fingers to take it off and kind of fix it up, cut the tails shorter if you need to, and that's it. Tighten up the bow as you're kind of holding it. Make sure that you hold it for a minute until you get it completely tight. All right, so I'm gonna show it one more time. You hold the tail between your thumb and your second finger, wrap it around twice, stick the back tail at the bottom of your fingers through all of or behind all of the ribbons bring it up to the top and then push that tail underneath the piece that you wrapped around and then make sure that it pulls through the top of your fingers and tighten it up and then just kind of push the tail towards the other tail towards the bottom of your hand or towards the bottom of your fingers and then you again you just pull it off and that's it kind of tighten it up there and make sure that the bow is secured and then trim the tails and you're good to go you may depending on the ribbon you use want to use a lighter just to brush over the ends of the tails to kind of seal them off so they don't fray and then I'm just gonna pop them here on the card And then the last thing I'm going to do with this is add some Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And I add it to all of the berries and to just the nose of the deer. Now I squeezed it onto my mat that I was working on because every time I try to squeeze it I end up getting a big blob on my card. So I have now learned to make sure that I do it over the mat and not on the card so I don't mess up the card that I was working on. So just a tip for you so that you don't mess up your card as well by squeezing it over your card. And that's it. I loved how these cards came out. I think they were super simple. I think you can do it really quickly with the wreath builder, especially by using multiple stamps at one time and getting that all done. So I want to thank you for joining me. Make sure you check out the Facebook pages, Fairy Hugs, or Fairy Stamper and Fairy Stamper Hugs. And again, take care. I hope you enjoyed the video.